Dabu7 has released a lot of these fear things. Um, here's one from the other day which he put up and just to give you an, inf an idea of how misinformation can go viral and to show you 45,000 uh, hits on here, let's listen to what he had to say about this NASA webpage saying that the world is going to change dramatically. This is Dabu7 on this October 3rd, 2013. And I want to share with you here an interesting website. NASA, the biggest discovery that will shake the earth. It will never be the same again. Remember the 13th. Sign up and stay updated. And it has a countdown. And it says, so what's this all about? NASA has made an historic discovery that will shake the entire planet. This announcement will be released to the media on November 13th, 2013. It will be a day to remember and one for the history books. Spread the word to your family and friends and sign up to stay updated. This is the message they're pushing on this webpage. That NASA has made a historic discovery. And they will be announcing this discovery November 13th, and there's a countdown. I'll leave a link so you guys can stay on top of this, and we'll see what comes about here from NASA. Okay. I, um, I saw this video. I called it right away. I said it's 100% pure BS. Why put this shit up on your channel? Because it gets hits, right? Look at the hits it's got. Um, he took down the ratings and the comments because I imagine a lot of other people uh, called it for what it was. I checked out the website. Here it is. Click here for the big discovery. Well, let's click here and find out what the big discovery is. Um, so there you go. It, it, it's a complete hoax. Um, but Dabu7 doesn't take down the videos. Um, this guy has a ton of videos on doom uh ison ison's gonna destroy the world fireballs comets all these things people are dying meteor impact kills two in ohio which had nothing to do with the meteor but the video is still up um you know there's there's a gazillion things on here and this is what is is a big problem with some of the alternative media who are more concerned with getting lots of views and not the least bit concerned that they're they're uh, you know basically um, promoting a lot of bullshit um, he's got a lot of stuff up on FEMA as well right uh, with regards to this possible thing and World War three um, Dabu's probably called War, World War three more times than just about anybody on the history of YouTube put together. Um, but I still subscribe to him. He's got some good stuff, but there's just a whole lot of crap. And there's a problem with this. There's always a big problem when you're promoting so much disinfo. Of course, it sells. Fear sells. Let's be honest, right? Um, a lot of people are making money off these things, and the more hits they get, the more, um, the more out of this world the titles are on the brink of World War Three, right? North Korea vows nuclear war. Just when you put things out and you just use these killer headlines, then people are going to click on and you're going to get a lot of views. But what kind of credibility do you have when you don't take these things down after they've been proven long ago that they don't aren't true or even even close to being true? Now, uh, Dabu's released another bullshit video here. This is October the 6th, Revelation 12, 188-day cycle, Comet Ison, and whatever, right? And I want to show this because this has been completely debunked. Now, these are very interesting shots that I had on the backup channel. 
that show a new object tracking alongside of Ison. Pacing with it, they say it may be an asteroid, but if that's the case, it's it's got to be a huge one. As you can see, it paces right along with Comet Ison. Very interesting shots. This large object is there, and they're saying it may be an asteroid, so they're not saying anything on it as, as well. Looking at some other Hubble shots here that shows Ison how in other pics you can also see is a two-piece body, and with the jet that comes out the front of it that they are seeing here, and some amazing shots. Okay, I'm not going to go on with this, all right? Basically, doom is coming your way. The NASA's lying to you. Uh, Ison's going to, you know, rain fire upon the Earth or ice or whatever. Um, the tail is going to rip through planet Earth. <sighs> All this stuff, right? Um, we're not listening to scientists here. We're listening to people who uh, profit from, from fear, basically, right? And um, there's a lot of this stuff up. It gets shitloads of views. Um, here's another one from three minutes of three crazy minutes of 1D. Experts from NASA say world will end <laughs> September 2013. Right? Um, fear sells. It it sure as hell does. Now I wanted to put up a suspicious observer who. Um, quickly debunked uh, Dabu 5's video saying that it has been manipulated from the original so source. So let's listen in a little bit here as Suspicious Observer puts an end to the second object bullshit. Good morning, folks. Now that everyone on Earth can see ISON, and tens of thousands of you have walked outside and seen the tiny comet for yourselves, the amount of lunatic ravings about this comet has died way down. But one of those last few remaining buggers has just been caught red-handed by Bruce Gary altering one of the pictures from his website. As if he hasn't been doing a better job tracking ISON than just about any two people combined. He also took it upon himself to dive into the remaining nonsense and prove it to be fraud all by himself. Those new UFO images with Ison are fake, and they faked Bruce Gary's images to do it. By the way, Bruce has also noticed another fate event at the comet, tracking exactly yesterday's Ison chat for website members. Oh. So um, those images were, were taken from uh, somebody else's site and manipulated and used for a fear, um, used to sell, used to make views, which makes money for uh, the person who puts up this stuff. There's so much of this going on. There's a gazillion websites that um, that's what they make their money off. They peddle fear. They... Uh, they put all these things together. They tell you constantly the world is going to end. Now, if you go by the Internet, the world would have ended probably a week after the Internet started because that's when all this stuff started going up. Um, I wanted to say a few things about Doom, especially if it comes to something like Ison. If somehow the tail of Ison hits Earth and, and causes a lot of destruction... You know, the only things that you want to know or that you can control is having a good stock of food and water in your home, right? And beyond that, there's really not much else you can do uh, about it if that were the case. But most of the experts say that uh, ISM will miss us by a million miles at the minimum and uh, will not pose any threat, just like pan stars and all these other comments that uh, came by that people were saying we're going to destroy the Earth, crack it in two or whatever. My point being here is that fear sells. Fear porn is a major, major part of the alternative media, and it's dangerous. I mean, it's a part of the mainstream media as well, right, when they have their uh, Michio Kaku kind of stuff on CNN and, and all that. Um, but generally, 
we're talking about when we talk about Reverend Michelle Hopkins or we talk about Dabu Seven or any of these Jason A type characters. No offense to any of these people. They might really believe what they're peddling. I don't know. I mean, I really don't know. But I'll tell you one thing about this channel and myself. I, I've i taken down at least half a dozen videos that turned out to be wrong in in the, the, the one and a half, almost two years I've been running the, the channel. If something comes wrong, I don't care how many views or how viral it gets, it will be taken down because there will not be lies on this channel. And I really think that, uh, you know, it, it other people... There's also a lot of people out there that are, are, you know, appear to be hoping for doom, like um, that they want something to go wrong, that they want um, World War Three to start, the economy to collapse, uh, Nibiru to come out of the shadows or whatever. They want some sort of doom. I assure you. I am not one of those people. That's the last thing that I want. I don't want anything to get worse than it already is. Um, life is too short to sit around thinking that the world is going to end tomorrow. And if it does end tomorrow, what the hell are you going to do about it? And uh, another thing, too, with uh, being prepped. I mean, what are you going to be prepped for, right? If If something like a comet were to hit us and cause you know, unprecedented damage to the earth, you would not want to live through that, all right? You know, we've got one um, nuclear power plant, four reactors that have gone AWOL, right? And that's just one plant, which I think has 16 reactors in total. Imagine there are hundreds and hundreds of nuclear um, plants out there that if some sort of doom did come, you know, you wouldn't want to live. You would not want to see the day. You'd want to be right underneath that thing as it hit. Um, of course, yes, being prepared for economic collapse is a very, very intelligent thing to do, and I urge everyone to do that. Um, but, you know, trying to profit off doom or fear, I don't go for that. And I don't like the way this stuff gets thrown around and gets blown out of proportion and there's no accountability for it when when the doom doesn't come you don't see these people backtracking and taking down their view their their videos that have hundreds of thousands of views no because they're they're still making money off that stuff and that's not cool you know you have to if, if you want to have any sort of integrity, you have to have certain values when you do this stuff. And, and that's why I say I won't be doing that here. You're not going to see that stuff here. Um, I don't want millions of doom people following me. That's not what I'm about. I'm trying to do what's real and report on what is really happening out there. Is there a false flag? That's going to hit us? Yeah, probably, for sure. Um, hopefully it's nothing big like 9-11. Hopefully it's nothing, you know, catastrophic that uh, is going to leave us completely paralyzed. But let's focus on what's real and let's get information out there that needs to get out there. And let's try to um, ignore the doomsday sayers who um, are profiting from people's paranoia. That's all I have to say, and I look forward to reading your uh, comments below. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.